this. Like, look, hey, copy, copy me. Yeah, and you can see yourself right here. But okay. don't give yourself a, don't chop your head off. Like, lean. Hey. What you think about the Chipotle? Family lock. Bro, they gotta have this shit in Mexico, bro. Fuck. It's more bro, Mexican. they gotta innovate, bro. They gotta bring this shit to Mexico. Cause like, bro, this shit, this shit would sell out every day, bro. They, they would have closed it because too many people want it. Like, bro, I took my first part. It's like losing my virginity, bro. Fuck. 10 shit. out of, wait, no. Fucking 15 out of 10. Shit's more Mexican than Mexico. Did yeah. I so. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you too. Uh, Kate, okay. I'm gonna need you in five minutes. Right. We're working with Brie right now. All right. Okay. Those ones are cool. Use those, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, the boots. Can I see the boots? Yeah. God damn, those are fucked. Okay, yeah. I'm wearing those. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. They're gonna be kind of kind of big, though. They're gonna be kind of big. That's fine. Bro, look at this. Wait, can I, can I try them on? Jesus Christ, dude. Dang, bro. Do you want to try them on with the pants? Uh, let me try the, these shoes. Right, <laughs> damn, those are fucking hard, bro. Where's Kate? Over here, I'm gonna go. What's up, Kate? Yeah. What's up, man? How are you, bro? Yo, good. How are you, bro? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Eric. This is Eric. I'm gonna start you off with this here. This one? Okay. Perfect. Like, that's cool. Okay. Shit, I'm like 5'12. 5'12? Yeah. What's your thoughts on him saying that he's 5'12 though? What's up? Yeah, just like Raph's 5'7. Yeah, Raph's 5'7, baby. You can try the jacket. Yeah, that's a good one. Alright, I'm gonna try the jacket. Hey, yo. Oh, that's hard. Dang. Dang. Oh. Damn, I, don't, I don't even see it, but y'all reaction. Yeah. Damn. Ain't trying to get stomped out by that dude. That's far though. Imagine the last thing you see is those boots. Hell no. Whatever I say, look down the stairs. Look down the stairs. Damn, Kate kind of made it, bro. I don't know. Why? Because you're performing, so it's going to be like. You're so short now. I'm so short now. Yeah, you're 5'12. Yeah, fuck. You're actually 5'12 now. Just wait till Drew gets his Air Forces on. Yeah, hey, wait till I get my boots. Yeah. Wait till I get my boots, my boy. Wait till I get my boots. Damn, well, I'll be 5'12. Nah, I'm in my normal shit. Nah, the cow pants give me two inches. Yeah, bro. They give me two inches to the sides. That's crazy. Horizontally, they make me wider. Oh, sorry. Alright, bro. You fucking with the fit? What's up? Oh, fit check, fit check, fit check. Where's your nigga? Where you from? Alabama, bro. Metallica. Oh, damn, for Top Gun, how's dog stop playing with those? Yo, what's up, with, what's up with the pants, though? Nah, no, zipped up. Damn, she said, though, she got the two sides, what we got to do with the black and the red. What's good with that, though? <laughs> damn, she got the J's on, though. She got the J's on. That's Brie right there, man. That's Brie. Damn, yo, 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 Kate, which one you gonna, you gonna buy me, dog? Which one are you gonna buy me? Uh, damn, you see that trash can right there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Paint splatter? Yeah. It's like a treatment. Yeah. I think it's because you close Oh, oh, uh oh. Okay. My soul? You ain't get my soul? We said you broke. You broke. See my fit? I got more money than you. That's what she said. I, I speak for Brie now. She doesn't talk anymore. She's too big to talk. What, what do you think of Brie? She said, get out of my face with this camera. That's what she said. Let's see the smoke. Oh, what the fuck? I keep watching these, bro. bro his, his balance is terrible. Yeah, we gave the guy with the worst balance. He really looks like a PC. We gave the guy with the worst balance now, the hardest shoes. Yeah, now he's a real NPC. It's like very short. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Louis free from jail. It'll kind of look a little bit more like candy, like organic, so you're not Hey! 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 In the nature of what we do and like kind of where the world went in the last couple of years, there's um, quite a lot of people we work with that sometimes we don't really get to meet. So we try our best to create these 
meetups and summits, we like to call them, where we can make sure that everybody meets each other, collaborates with each other, meets their managers, you know, people that we work with day to day, but just make sure that we have some IRL moments. And so that's what we're doing right now. And um, yeah, we're excited to see what's gonna happen. We have like three, four different stations where people can work with different producers. We're gonna be filming music videos, going out to eat, doing the whole LA thing. Um, Cause yeah, a lot of people aren't even from here. So we're gonna see how it goes. This, like look, pop, copy me. Two, we could just and you can see yourself three. right here. Oh, okay. I think what people need to focus on now is everyone and anyone can go viral. What you need to do is, if you know you have the potential to, or you know you're gonna get there, make sure that you work as hard on your brand as you do with trying to go viral. That way, when your variety hits, your brand matches, and you kind of have a face to the, you know, to the name, to the song. Uh, a lot of artists, a lot of people who blow up, uh, they have no brand. No one knows what they look like. They can't associate their face with the song. Um, so I think that's something that everyone needs to work on. Why did you fly everybody out here? Um, put a bunch of creatives in the same room, see what happens, and really keep building the culture of 25-7 as a family business. How is it that you guys do that? And what specific landscapes do you guys do differently than other companies? Ooh. The way we do that is by not focusing on the creator with the biggest numbers but the musician or the creator with the biggest voice. And what that means is a lot of people are looking at if an artist gets 10,000 likes on a picture, I'm looking at if an artist has 1,000 followers but is getting 500 comments on it. Engagement and real communities is the way we tackle the, the digital space. Actually building our community. And that's what we're doing cross genres in music and what we've done on the influencer side too. Lumi, how do you feel, Doug? My ass itches. What made you want to set it up like this, or like this specific spot? Like, I was just trying to curate more of a vibe for each individual artist. Ultimately, uh, shout out to Holly for production design, Kansley on gapping, Katie on makeup, everybody else involved. It's beautiful. Yeah. About, to, about to sauce it up. Yeah, I noticed that you try to like match the artists within each individual like room, which is like really good. And then you like coordinated them all together in the end, which is honestly insane. Oh, 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 oh,